Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante bam, bam, Graphics Studio, The Political Vigilante World Headquarters. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching me on YouTube. Oh, wah, might be the last time. We don't know. It's December 9th. Tomorrow, they enforce their new terms of service. This was submitted by Patreon supporter Jasmine Mann. Everyone's been talking about it. Great way to support the show is at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and also rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Why have I been putting my videos on Rockfin since the spring? Because I was worried about this. All my videos are available at Rockfin. They are ad-free. You can support me there for $10 a month at rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood and you get access to all my premium content or go to Patreon. If I get deplatformed tomorrow, which could very well happen, um, I will continue to post my videos on Rockfin and the bonus content, I will keep putting it on Patreon, but I will not be on YouTube. That could happen as of tomorrow. Let's go into these ridiculous terms of service. This is, you can't really see this, but... So they're updating it tomorrow, right? Uh, your service provider is now Google LLC. We have added a link to the thing. They go into the thing. Um, to ensure you understand that what we mean, a group of companies and blah, 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 key updates. <sighs> as a price that uses to provide content to the service, it defines the scope of the permission that you grant by uploading your content and includes your agreement not to upload anything that infringes upon any else's buddy's rights. Right? We may automatically analyze content on YouTube to help detect abuse and keep the platform safe. It also says if your vid if your channel is not suitable for advertisers, they'll deplatform you. So one of the things they've been doing to me and other content creators is making, they demonetize or put limited ads. And they say it's not suitable for advertisers. So they say it's not suitable for advertisers and then they're gonna say, oh, your whole channel's not suitable for advertisers. I started like a month ago, a whole um, playlist of demonet, it's, a, it's called demonetized. It's mostly anything involving Epstein. So it could just be deplatformed tomorrow. I was talking to Tiffany Fitzhenry and she just pulled all of her videos down. It looks like she's already been deplatformed, but I talked to her, she said no. She just pulled them all down and unlisted everything. So um, they could just do this to me. This channel that I've built up in two and a half years, I went from 164 subscribers to 57,000. And that's with them unsubscribing people and throttling people. YouTube is owned by Google, which has been working with the NSA and the CIA, the intelligence community, basically, for a while. Edward Snowden proved this in leaked documents. So this is what they can do, everybody. Um, our terms now include more details about when we might need to terminate our agreement with bad actors. Right? And what you can do to appeal if we think we've got it wrong. They created this thing. Anyone can put their ads up, or anyone can put their videos up. They're going to play ads. You, the advertisers make money. YouTube makes, you know, everybody wins. And then, okay, somebody puts offensive stuff on there, so you just say that person's offensive. But now they're saying anything's offensive, because they're working with the intelligence community, man. It's not fair, it's not right. My channel over the summer, from it went from 20,000 subscribers to 50,000 in about six weeks, right? From like l July, June, late June into July and August, mainly because of the Epstein stuff. And then they started throttling. You've seen, if you look at my videos, there's videos that get five, six, 7,000 views. They were all getting over the summer 10, 15, 20,000 views. Like 10,000 was on the low end of my videos. And now that's the high end. I, I, once a week, maybe I'll get a video that breaks 10,000 views. So, 
you know, I'm calling out Epstein <laughs> and everyone tied with Epstein, which includes the Clintons and the Trumps and everybody else and Prince Andrew. So I think Jasmine Mann suggested that this is because of the YouTube union that people are forming, that maybe YouTube is scared. It might have something to do with that, but it also might just be this is how they're going to they would love to have me just not post these videos. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just make cat videos and just talk about, well, we shouldn't be at war in Yemen. Meow, 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 meow. I don't know. I don't know what to do. So um, we hope we still have a channel tomorrow. And I'll still make videos on Rockfin and Patreon. I don't, I, yeah, but if I'm not on YouTube, it's, I don't know, yeah. My whole goal is to get my YouTube channel up to hundreds of thousands of viewers and so many of you have come seen Ron Placona and I on the road at the Progressive Comedy Tour, but I don't know. So I hope I'm still here. Uh, December 12th is the final uh, episode of the Comedy Film Nerds podcast. That's a live show. It's at the Dynasty Typewriter in Hollywood. Uh, Progressive Comedy Tours going to Ventura, California, December 13th, and Hollywood, California, December 14th. All your tickets are at uh, GrahamElwa.com. I would say like, share, and subscribe, and do all that other stuff, but I don't know. They're going to just pull a, pull a thing out of it say I'm a bad actor or something. I went to acting school. Okay. I've studied Meisner. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. You're all making Gotham great again. Shave your knuckles for justice unless they say that that's offensive.